welcome to this video tutorial on how to blog on your Course Spaces or Moodle account at the University of Victoria. Course Spaces, to clarify, is just an updated version of Moodle. Either way, you will still be able to blog. It is a very similar process and I will be using both at the same time. So the first thing you are going to need to do is log in to your UVic account and I have just opened up the window tabs up above just because it will help ease the process. So once you've done that, sign in. That will take you to your online tools up here, which will allow you to access your Moodle page or your Course Spaces page. And once you've clicked on your Moodle account, it will give you access to all your courses that have a Moodle page for it. So here we can see there's an EPHE 500, EPHE 573, and EPHE 583. So we're going to click on EPHE 500, and that's going to take me to the home page for that course. So to figure out if you have a course discussion page, you just have to look for the word bubble symbol and it helps us if it says seminar online discussions. In this case, if your course does not have a word bubble symbol or an online discussion, that simply means that you can't post for that uh, course. So if there is one, you're just going to click on that and that will take you immediately to the discussion page so you can see that one person has already added a discussion Dr. Worf Higgins uh, the last person to post how many replies there have been and what the discussion topic is if you would like to add a new discussion topic all you're going to do is simply add a new discussion topic click that and that will take you to add a blog post so if you'd like to add a blog post all you have to simply do is type in the title so let's say test blogging and for the message, let's put the title of this tutorial. Welcome to how to blog on your UVic Moodle account. And once you're happy with your message and your title, you can adjust the font, the size, the paragraphs. There are various icons similar to a Word doc that you could adjust. Scroll all the way down. You can also add attachment files, tags, and once you're ready, simply add blog post. And you'll see here that the title is right there, and what I've put in to the message will be abbreviated in a little line. It is the simple version of how to blog on your Moodle account. I hope this has helped you figure out how to use the blogging feature on your course's Moodle page. Thank you very much.